Hi guys, welcome to Linuxer YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video we will talk about Vim RC configuration file. But before we start the lab session, we need to understand few points, which is what is Vim RC file and its use cases. So basically, Vim configuration file is called Vim RC, written in the Vim script programming language. The name Vim RC stands for Vim Run Command. However, according to the Wikipedia. The RC suffix could also be expanded as run control because an RC file controls how a program runs. Some, somewhere uh, you can find VimRC stand for Vim resource configuration file. So this file basically provides initialization settings that configure Vim every time it starts. As I told you earlier, when Vim starts, it puts first look VimRC file in the user's home directory on Mac OS on Linux inside the user home directory dot vimrc file if it is founds one that's okay uh, vimrc source it otherwise it search for a new more place for the file like would be global location slash etc this file allows user to customize the settings for the vim editor and this file save in a plain text format they store a series of instructions each of which can be run manually in the vim command line editor by typing colon character and entering the command. By configuring your VimRC file, configuring your VimRC file, you can use the full power of Vim with a customized .vimrc file. You can increase your Vim power uh, tenfold. So let's start the lab session and we'll see how we can use VimRC and it's useful for Linux admin. So here you can see this is my Linux VM and currently I'm using Red Hat. So let me show you the OS release version. Here you can see this is Red Hat release 9.3. And let's start with the first tab, which is create simple text file with VIM editor and write down some data over there. So I'll open the VIM demo.txt and I write down something. Hi, this is my demo file. Okay. And hope you enjoy today's session okay that's that sufficient i save and quit now my file is ready let let me go with the nl number of line you can see one line is hi this is my demo file second one is hope you enjoy today's session now my file is ready let's start uh, creating vimrc file in current user home directory and we'll see the magic so i'll go with dot vimrc this is hidden file dot vimrc right the moment you press enter by default it's blank so let's go with the first entry which is set the line number permanently how to set it just go insert mode i type set m u m b e r the moment i type set number basically this will add number to each line on the left hand side save and quit we'll see if i go my older file demo.txt you can see the line number is set am i right so this is the first thing set number so this is the line number are permanent. Whenever we open the file via VIM editor, we'll get this line number always. Currently for current session, if you don't want to go with this number, you can use set no number. The moment you press, it's gone. But be remember that is permanent. Again, if you try to open, again, you get the line number. Clear? So let's move to the second entry, which is highlighting cursor line, right? Or highlight your cursor line. So one more time, I'll open my vimrc file, vim.vimrc file, and uh, I just add one more entry set c u r s o r c o l u m n cursor column. That's it. You can replace with cursor line also. I'll save and quit and see what happened. So simply putting the set uh, putting set cursor column in your vimrc file will highlight the cursor column. Uh, in every window and update the highlight as the cursor moves. So now this time if I open my demo.txt you will see the cursor the cursor, uh, cursor uh, vertical column is there which is very useful especially for indentation. So if I move anywhere you can see this is cursor column right. Even you can just go with cursor line also. Just replace cursor column with cursor line. So uh, let's move to the other entry. Let me quit from here. My next entry is that we can go with for syntax highlighting, right? That is important. Syntax highlighting is very useful. We will enable syntax highlighting and make your code easier to be read. So again, uh, one more time, I'll open my vimrc file. 
and add one more entry just say syntax on that's it just save it syntax on so let's quick make a one demo dot sh file or custom sh file and we'll see how it's work so if i go cus tm custom dot sh file i start with shebang uh bing bash just say echo good morning good morning that's it i'll save and quit okay so here you can see uh, currently it's it's syntax is highlighted here right now let's see what happened if i turn off the syntax so i'll just go i'll open and i'll say syntax on no i don't need it let it be off the moment i set off and this time if i try to open you can see everything is gone right so it's it's a uh, it's no it's no color right now right so this is how you can uh, you can set uh, syntax let it be go back again and i set syntax coloring on i need it so i'll just set on right so this time syntax highlighted again come back if i try to check you can see is there right okay so let's go one more entry which is uh, set auto indentation so indentation is very useful in yaml playbooks this is used of uh, this is the use of space or tabs to align the alignment of yaml document indentation creates a parent child relationship between the keys and value and between collections and their items so let's see what happened uh, when we don't set the indentation and create the yaml file let's try first of all i'll quit from there i try main.yaml file suppose i need to go with yaml playbook so i start with hyphen 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 then i say name i'll give the value of play one the moment i press enter see what happened the moment i press enter it started from here am i right so as soon as i press enter you can see alignment is not set it start from so I start from start point from here not at the bottom of hyphen name actually it will be started from here so that's create problem us in the yaml playbook so now let's set the indentation in vimosity file so i'll just save and quit from here and i'll open one marcy one more time and type set ai auto indentation right i'll save and quit and now if i open the moment again i'm going back play one i said insert and the moment i press enter see where's the cursor now here you can see if i press tab and t a s k s starts the moment i press enter s k s starts you can see its indentation here right so now you can see alignment automatically work for us so this is how you can just enable the indentation using vimarcy file that is very useful especially for the playbooks then um, we can we can see one more case which is uh, save the backup file that's very very important vim helps protect us for from cursely losing your data by letting you make up a backup of the file once you add it so by default vim behavior is that it will not save any kind of backup file of your currently modified file let add the backup entry in vimrc file and then see what happened so i'll open the file again vimrc and i just add the entry set backup that's it so by default it will save the backup in your current working directory right i'll save and quit now try to open the file one more time so if i try to open the my file demo.txt again i'll go back demo.txt Mm, here it is uh, just add new line i'll save and quit i'll save and quit the moment i save and quit and if i go with cat command cat demo you can see two files are there demo txt and demo dot txt with uh, uh, with tilde suffix right so cat demo dot txt tilde that demo dot txt that's the original one you can see the three lines are there and if i go demo dot txt tilde like this this is my backup file right so that was the older file which we have modified so this is how you can create a uh, use put up that entry in vimrc set backup and it will save the backup file this is the important thing very important let's move another entry which is wrap line how we can set wrap line so vim give you the feature to break the long line in multiple lines automatically using set wrap option so let's take one more set w r a p set wrap save and quit and see the magic so now let's try to write down very long line and you will see it will break out automatically so again i open demo.txt and this time i type uh, high something uh, value using the space bar 
I just write down so many random value. You can see the moment I press tab, it will, the moment it, yeah, see, did you notice? It's automatically come with a new tab with the four lines, right? The phone number line is continuously going on. So it's break up into the new line. So that is a feature using set wrap line. If you don't do that, it will be continuously going on, going on and going on, right? So this is just because of set wrap. That's very important. Let's move one more entry, which is ignore case search. That is very, very important. By default, VIM doesn't ignore uppercase character during the searching time. We can change this behavior by pressing ignore case using VimRC file. So let's try. Suppose I write down hi Linux and I type hi uppercase Linux. Okay. Now if I save and if I try to search where is Linux keyword, so I type L-I-N-U-X. The moment I press enter, you can say it's only search lowercase character, right? It will not go with the uppercase character. So how? How we can change this by default behavior? So again, I'll save and quit. And I'll open my VimRC one more file and type set IC, ignore case, right? Now, if I save and quit, and if I open the demo.txt one more time, you will see, hey, look at that. Now you can say it's a start case ignoring. Both string, what we have searched previously, automatically selected with lowercase as well as uppercase, Linux and Linux. Both are selected automatically, right? So that is a very useful, especially in the case ignoring, right? Save and quit. Let's take another entry, which is spelling checking. How you can check spell check. Vim has a built-in spell checker command line tool. You can turn it on and by setting spell on in VimRC. So just like in MS-DOS world, when you try to write down something and something is happening on a wrong with the spell world, it will be highlighted over there. Same concept happen here. You can also do that. Let's try what happened uh, if I do some wrong spelling in my demo dot file then we will enable from WinRC and we'll see what happened. So I'll open my demo.txt uh, demo file and I type uh, W-E-L-C-M-O-E. -E. Here you can notice I write down, I misspell welcome spelling. Am I right? Welcome to Linux. Okay, just save and quit. The moment I save and quit, if I try to open, nothing is highlighted here, this is wrong, right? Let's try what happened if I open WinRC file and go and type set S-P-E-L-L, -L, spell, that's it. Save and quit. Now, see what happened if I try to open again the file demo.txt. Hey, did you notice? Look at the seven, look at the welcome word. So, now you can see the moment I open the demo.txt file, welcome and all string are hi highlighted automatically those who are not properly spelled up here. Now, the question come in our mind is how we can set it, right? So, put your cursor on misspell world and press Z is equal to to see a list of suggestion for misspell world, which is based on US based dictionary. So I'm here, I'm on the seven number, right? And I use Z and equal, Z and equal. See, I got the option. So we have the option one, two, three, four, five. You can go with anyone. Now you can see the, uh, the moment I press Z and equal, I got all suggestion from VIM. So just type the number which you want to go with and press enter. So I'll go with the first one, W-E-L-C-U-M-E. -E. First one is okay for me. I type one and press enter. The moment I type, you can say it's right. Welcome, right? So this is how what we can do. This is how we can take the advantage of this feature also. I'll save and quit. Hope you like it. Let's move another entry, which is confirm selection, right? We can put set confirm in your WimRC file uh, that uh, will, which means that rather than just filling, uh, failing if you quit without saving, you are prompt to save yes or no or cancel option while you try to quit from the VIM editor. So I type set confirm, right? See what happened? Now, if I try to open demo.txt one more time and if I write down something, just, uh, just try, try to add new line one more time and suddenly I change my mind. I don't want to save it. So what happened if I type colon Q this time, if this time I'm going to call in Q, it will prompt me. Hey, do you want to save the changes? Y for yes, no for no, C for cancel. So this is just come with the set confirm option. This is very, very important, right? So choice up to you. I said C. No, I don't want to, I want to cancel it out. Or I said, okay, just uh, no, I don't want to save it. So this is how you can do that, right? Let's move one more entry, which is title. 
we can set the title also we can set the windows title reflecting the file currently being added by the using set title in mmrc file so currently you can say it's vim demo.txt root at the rate server one vim demo.txt right so how we can do that i'll open dot vmrc file and go and type set title the moment i type set title see what happens i'll save and quit and now this time if i try to open the file you can see the title is there demo.txt right this is also useful for us we can we can change the color also we can change the color schema for vim so let's try to move another entry which is change color schema so color schema are very useful component of vim customization we can use the color schema command followed by the tab to cycle through the available option so i can use colon c o l o r s c h e m e color scheme and i give one space and then i use tab button so here you can see we can change the color of blue dark blue default and evening morning something like that these are the options are available right so you can see these all available options so just put a color scheme directive in your vimrc file for example i want to go with morning i want to go with evening just use color scheme evening and see the magic so what i did i'll put from here first of all i'll quit uh q okay and i open dot vim rc one more time now i'll go here i type c o l o r s c h e m e color scheme i said morning m o r n i n g morning m o r n i n g yeah that's okay i hope so it worked so the moment i have tried to open you can see it's changed right it's changed so this is how you can change morning evening let's try what happen if i change to the blue I'll go. I'll change blue, B L U E blue. See, now this is in the blue format. So as per your need, as per the available options, you can change it as per your need, right? I said evening, E V E N I N G evening. Save it. Here you can see it's a evening, right? And if you don't want to set it and just remove the entry. Similarly, you can use set cursor column in the line also. Let it be copy and paste. and i set cursor column column cursor c cursor cul yes you can go with cul cursor line or you can go cuc both are you can these are the shortcuts right cuc cursor column and cursor line now see what happen the moment i open any file you will find out here see this is the line this is the cursor line and that's the cursor column right this black entry this is the cursor column so this is how what we can do this is how we can use uh, this vimrc configuration file and change the default behavior of the configuration entries right so guys here i just explain few of important option in my vimrc file which is very common in real world project and uh, more option you can get it from the man section so you can just type uh, man 5 vimrc for the configuration file and you can get the entries from here right so guys that's all about this demo hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with uh, another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something of uh, uh, if you uh, if you want to share something with me please reach out to my social media link which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye